Hi everyone. Today's sew along is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be mashing two separate patterns into one. I'll be using the bodice of the Lucy swing top and adding the sleeves and neckband from the puff sleeve top. Both patterns are from Ellie and Mac and I'll leave the links below so you can grab them and sew along with me today. I've sewn this top once before using an athletic knit and today I'm using a nice soft jersey. I hope you sew along with me. Let's get started. You will need one front bodice piece and one back bodice piece cut on the fold from the Lucy swing top. The only difference between front and back is the neckline. Two sleeves cut on the fold from the puff sleeve top and two pieces of elastic. Note the elastic measurements for your size listed on the sleeve. One scoop neckband piece from your puff sleeve top cut on the fold. I'm going to be deducting half an inch from this folded measurement to fit my Lucy bodice. And two sleeve bands cut on the fold from the puff sleeve pattern. With your bodice pieces right sides together, clip your side seams and shoulder seams. Take it to your machine and serge. I've marked the notches on my sleeves to indicate where to stop and start gathering the sleeve cap. Now I'm going to take it to my machine and use my longest stitch to baste the entire sleeve cap so I can pull the threads together. Do this for both sleeves. I've pulled up my bobbin thread so I have tails of thread to start with for my gathering. And I'm going to sew my gathering stitches just slightly under the quarter inch seam allowance so that when I'm done you can't see my basting stitches in the final garment. And leave some tails at the end too. With chalk and a marking pen, I've marked the top, middle, and end of my elastic placement. I've done the same thing on my elastic Note that your elastic should be an extra inch on either side so that you have something to hold on to as you sew. Pin your elastic to your sleeve at the top, middle, and end points. And then we're gonna take it to our machine and stretch that elastic as we sew it down with a zigzag stitch, being careful not to stretch your shirt. As I zigzag, I'm going to hold the elastic on the back and the bottom to stretch it taut without stretching the shirt, I'll stop at the middle point, take out my pin, and continue to the end point. Now that our elastic is in place, fold your sleeves right sides together, matching the short seams and pin. Surge both seams. Now that I've surged my seams, I'm gonna turn my sleeve inside out, and place it right sides together with my bodice, matching underarm seams. Also match your shoulder seams and pin. Now it's time to pull those gathering stitches to fit our sleeve into our armhole. Once it fits, go ahead and pin. Gather on both sides of the sleeve for both sleeves, and then you're ready to take it to your machine and sew. Fold your sleeve bands right sides together, clip the short ends. Surge your short ends. Now that they're surged, fold them wrong sides together, and place pins at the quarter points. Now that my sleeve bands are quartered, I'll also quarter the bottom of my sleeves. Now I'm going to match my cuff with the bottom of my sleeve right sides together and clip, matching my pins. Make sure that the seam of your cuff matches with the underarm seam of your sleeve. Do this for both sleeves and serge. Fold your neckband piece in half and clip the short edge. Surge the short edge. 
Now that it's surged, fold it in half wrong sides together and pin your quarter points just as we did for the cuffs. I've quartered my neckband and my neckline and now I'm ready to attach them right sides together. Matching your pins. Take it to your machine and surge your neckline. You will need to slightly pull the neckband in order to ease it into the neckline, but make sure not to stretch your shirt. To hem the bottom of my blouse, I'm folding up the bottom hem about 3 eighths inch and zigzagging all the way around. Thank you so much for watching this sew along. I would love to see your creations, so please feel free to tag me on Instagram with your makes. I'll see you in the next sew along. Thank you.